Before we get going talking about poetry, I want you to read this definition of poetry. It says, poetry is when an emotion has found its thought and the thought has found words. And Robert Frost, the poet we're going to be studying today, is actually the person who said this. And I wanted to share it with you because often I think when we study poetry, kids get really intimidated and feel like, oh my gosh, it's this scary mystery and there's one right answer. And if I get it wrong, my teacher's going to think I'm dumb and people are really intimidated by poetry. And I just want to point out that the people who write poetry are writing it to communicate an emotion or a thought that they feel like somebody else is going to relate to or understand. People write poetry because they're so in love or so angry or so happy or so sad that those emotions are spilling out of them. And the only way that they feel like they can get them out in a healthy way is to write them down in poetry. So the purpose of poetry is not to annoy you or make you feel bad or make you feel dumb or make you feel confused. The person wrote the poem to share an emotion that they feel like is going to help them connect with another human being. And I think if we keep that in mind, that what we're looking for is some kind of experience. Well, there's the bell. There's an experience we all share. But the poem is probably going to be about an experience that is important to being a human being. Um, then it might be a little easier and a little less intimidating. So I just wanted to share that before we started doing the analysis part.